Uh, my name is uh, Jacob Hanna from the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel. Uh, my lab uh, focuses on really making uh, stem cells uh, derived embryo models uh, to really understand early development in, in humans and other mammalians. As we know, we can make stem cells from any individual from his skin or blood and, and revert them back into a stem cell state. But we are really challenged in how do we push these cells forward to become into organs and cells for transplantation. And what my lab has done is really trying to understand how can we push the cell all the way backwards, uh, meaning what we call a naive state, at a really, really early stage in development. And after managing to do that, we asked how and whether we can take, can take these cells and make them develop into what, uh, what was called a stem cell derived synthetic embryo model, something that is similar to a stem, an embryo without using eggs, without using sperm, without using a uterus. And, and we've shown that we are able to do that first in mice where we can take uh, these naive stem cells, uh, put them into special device and condition that we know can support uh, and mouse embryo development. So if we take these stem cells and put them in these, these conditions, we can see that we unleash their potential to organize into an embryo-like entity that has a placenta, it has a yolk sac surrounding it, and it has already made what's called gastrulation, which is really the budding of the organs, uh, different progenitors happening. And we, this has been published and will present it today, but uh, today we'll also share unpublished data on how we do this with the human naive stem cells. Uh, we've spent over 10 years of research of how to grow human cells into this early naive stem cells. And we've recently been sh able to really show that what we've done in mice can also be done with human cells. And we can really reach about day 14 in development, uh, in, in really post-implantation, um, with human stem cells without using any donated embryos or eggs or any materials from abortion, just in the Petri dish, we can make the stem cells organize into uh, an early human embryo model that has a lot of the features that, uh, that are expected to be there. And this is important because this is an inaccessible window in development uh, that is very important and, uh, to understand and to study it. And this really constitutes the first model that is really integrated and has these compartments to model these critical processes.